who's only been playing for three months before this tournament, and we're off. All right, all right. And already we can see Uncle with no sword, so we're gonna have a random weapon today. As is most often the case in standard, but sometimes you get a sword. And already a map check from Purdy Wong. So we have Desert as the 5 crystal, Hera as just a, vanilla, just a basic crystal, and we have Eastern as a pendant. Oh, Eastern as a pendant is, uh, well, depending what's the weapon here. The armor, okay, armor is good. It's... Hammer is very good. It's guaranteed required every seed, so that's one less thing they'll have to hunt for. Oh yeah, and it's one shutting most enemies early on in the in the escape. So uh, for one who want to do it quick, the armor's got you covered. Also makes it a bit uh, more safe to do like bomb farming because well, you don't have like you have infinite armor possibilities here. Unlike if you get like fire rod or cane of burna or Sumeria, where you have like a number of of, of Chances to get bombs here, you get every chance you want. And it looks like... Uh, Purdy Wong with a, a skin... Uh, it's not the official Link, but it's pretty... I believe it's modern Link. Yeah, I don't remember Link being like... a ginger. But... Maybe it's more brown. Because it, it's true that the pink area is very weird, so... And Zayfa is showing that uh, Luigi is not always last. Yeah. Maybe Zayfa was like the little brother, you know, growing up. He always played Luigi, so he kept with it. <laughs> but uh, Luigi is a nice pick. It's the same color as Link, so you don't get too much confused. That's a pretty smart play there, uh, being able to check your stun prize and seeing that single hearts. Yeah, that's gonna be an easy way when you're uh, not sh like when your your hearts are low to get it back. With the uh, and I guess it's good to check it when you can in the SK because if it's bomb as the prize pack, well there you don't have to farm anymore. Yeah, both these runners have been killing a lot of guards and still no bombs. Bold runner pretty feeling pretty safe with five arts already going straight for the armor kill. And gets a bottle. So they won't have to double back for a sick kid when they go through Kakariko. Yep, that's always fun because sometimes you just never have to go back to Kakariko and it's like super weird to route it back, but you're sure to go at least at the beginning of the seed. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't think there was anything in the bottle. No, uh, there was nothing in there. It's always good when there's like... At, even a bee would be great, you know? Could help a little bit. Here it's just like, nope, less value possible. Yeah, B would be nice for a uh, mini Moldorm cave. Yeah, for sure, because now uh, with the armor, basically they will have to go on both sides. If you release the B, you could uh, you could focus on one side and the B get, takes care of the rest. But that won't happen today. But if they find uh, like the the fairy net and a fairy, they at least they don't have to remove the B. So like maybe that's a bit of a time save there. We'll never know. Both runner pretty neck and neck in this escape. This is good. Yeah, they both, as we said, they've both been farming, so it's been pretty efficient between both of them. Oh yeah, and still no bombs for neither of the runners. So I guess the in the rats place, that's where the most of the bombs are, just because there's way like you get more. Oh, there it is. All right. I was about to say, the rope room's usually another good spot for it. And boat runners get the eight bomb drops. Eight takes uh, care of most of the early checks that you need, like 
if you get out of this place with three bombs, it's pretty good, but eight is like amazing. Yeah, it should cover Kakariko as well as uh, Mini Moldorm Cave. And assuming that they use Hammer instead of bombs to clear it out, they can also check Ice Rod yeah. and Sahashula. Yeah, and if they go to that mountain, they can even. <laughs> but at this point, I'm pretty sure they would have gotten. They will get bombs in chests anyway, but. Better to get eight bombs than one bomb for sure. I see they already have the the map here, so only items from now on. Oh hey, there's that bee in a bottle. There we go. Now it's awesome. best of both worlds because you have an empty bottle and you have a bee in a bottle. So. You can get a fairy and keep the bee. Zephod <laughs> uh, accidentally threw a bomb the wrong way, and it just caused so much of a sink there. Oh yeah, it's. I'm looking at it and it's like super synced. It's pretty. I hope it stays like this for most of the run. And a another bird, another bee. <laughs> bee torp called. Yeah. Said there wasn't enough bees. It's the curse of the commentators talking about bees. I guess that was like uh, inspired by the second part of Zaphod name. Zaphod, like Beeble, Beeble Brox. There's a bee in it, you know? It's all about the bees tonight. PRD skipping uh, the Aga check, and it seems like Zaphod's also gonna skip it. I'm not sure. Oh. That is a nice tier 2 tree pull. Yeah. Early on gives you a lot of money. And even the the, the bush crab is money, so. Oh, and we're gonna get a check here, so. What is it? 20 bucks. Well, when money's literally growing on trees. <laughs> That's true. That's literally what's happening right now. I don't think we're gonna get uh, this this twenty check. Yeah. And Zephod's gonna get a bit more money. Can he get? Because he can get another. He can get the other tree here. So it'll get like another eighty rupees out of this. I think he needs one more kill though. Oh, it's tier two. Yeah, tier two was the twenties. Oh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm never like uh, able to to know the tiers. I'm not this good of a player. I don't. I don't count it. What's oh ocarina here? Oh well, he got it. So what? What are the tiers like? Four, four kills is one tier or one kill? It's uh, one kill is tier one, then I forget if it's three or four kills for tier two if you've been hit, and it's tier three if you have not been hit. Oh, okay. So now that they have the flute, uh, already in Ocarina, in, in, in Kakariko, they can pretty much uh, go clear Kakariko right now with the bottle and the flute. It's pretty efficient. Yeah, the only thing they're missing is the powder. Gloves in the well. And we're a moon pearl from Dark World access. That's pretty good. Do you think we're gonna get the the troll the troll um, moon pearl, or is this gonna be an early moon pearl and then early Dark World access? I think the seeds going to make them wait a bit. They do have quite a bit of access around the world right now. Oh yeah, and already the the seed is pretty safe right now with uh, blue mail already and like six arts. So dark world is not super scary, but it's like it's always better to have a bit more of equipment before going there. And nothing 
in the old lady's house. Only our, our retirement fund, which we uh, took. And the sick kid. We're also taking away his money. Now, you can sell golden bees to the bottle merchant for... I'm trying oh. to remember exactly how much. I yeah, I think it's 100. Money. That could be like next level play here. Because we have two. I think Zephod already... Alright, checked. I saw him cycle through his bottles, and I think they're all regular bees, though. Yeah. Maybe in the four bottle we'll get a a golden bee. And pretty efficient routing here, fluting away from the maze game to the dam. That's always great to do when you. We can skip this, the Lanty Walk, and we find our first sword. Yeah, it's a lot less powerful than the hammer, but uh, more reliable in reach. Oh yeah, the range, like some, some fights like blind, you rather use the, the sword than the hammer. So even though it's less powerful, you don't really care. And also, it's good for like uh, future in the future. If you can early Dark Alexis and maybe you find a Fire Rod soon, we can do Sk Skullwoods, you know. But without the sword, you cannot. Oh, and uh, Zafa is going for uh, the maze game blind here. He's going to be disappointed. I think you might go ahead and take it. Well, yeah, you did the, all the all the hard work. You gotta be, get your prize. Because <laughs> yeah, there's one thing to mention: Zora is actually in logic because of the gloves. Oh, Bumbos on the desert ledge, and with this uh, oak shot here, if PRD wants to go ahead and. Uh, Sequence break to that mountain here. He can get a lot of checks with the hammer and the hook shot there. Oh, well, it's not the sequence break. He has the flute. He can go there easily. <laughs> yeah, the only sequence break on Death Mountain right now is the old man. Oh yeah, yeah. I just forgot the the the, the, uh, the flute, so I was like thinking 3D chess in my head, like go in the dark. But no, he can. It's in log It's all in logic now, so. Mushroom for silver arrows. That's uh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I'll take the trade any day. Yeah, it's always. I think it's always good to go and check those early uh, fetch quest items. They they seem to uh, to give more than often not a good item. If you get, you get them later, here. it's it's not. I, I'm not sure about it, but. Oh. I guess that was a quicker method. E uh, Zephod using the bomb method to get into Hulahan. Yep. So he's thinking Zora. He's, yeah, it's in logic, and uh, I wonder if he'll go, he's gonna do it with the fake flippers. Oh, but since he, does, he doesn't have the moon pearl, he won't be able to check the waterfall. But at least you get to check the island and uh, the uh, the oboe at the same time. Yeah, there's... Hobo's had some value uh, this tournament. Yeah, well... Hobo's living under a bridge for a reason. It's because he's ordering a prestige item most of the time. He sold the house for a... Uh, for a nice uh, red cane, you know? And we air the bow on the tip, top of Spectacle Rock. And we have a shovel inside of it. It's loaded. Uh, unfortunately, this is like the only item you can... <laughs> pretty much the only item you can get from that mountain at this point. Book Light shot. So, yeah. You can go over to the right side and get Paradox Cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but I mean like just like yeah until they find the the mirror no bow for you Now, as long as tower, as long as they don't have to go to the basement for the big key, they can clear Tower of Hera right now. Yeah, there is a, a little bit of a chance it's fire locked, but uh, also there's like still like eight possible check on that mountain before that, so they might find a fire source before. But even then, who knows? I'd take the gamble. I'd go in there. Especially that it's a crystal. Yeah, and even if it is locked, uh, you're probably getting at least one item. Oh yeah. And you know you're gonna have to come back anyway for the bow, so... I mean, it's... It's pretty good. Ice Rock Cave for Zaf Zaffa doesn't really pay and it looks like he's not gonna do the fake flippers he, even though he went for the money here and he's going straight to the mountain I think the Oakshot changes mine probably and Red Cane over in Paradox Cave S Red Cane is good for later but right now it's not a game changer but uh, that will mean, since we already have uh, the, uh, the armor, and we're just missing a, a one glove and one medallion to go to Turtle Rock. Yeah, we're also missing a Moon Pearl. And a, oh yeah, and a Moon Pearl. <laughs> well, I mean, we're gonna start to be low on places to check. Oh, Master Sword on Island. We're gonna... We're gonna Soon we're gonna be uh, short on places to look for that uh, moon pearl, so it's gotta be found soon, I think. Now, on Purdy's side, this is a decision I don't quite agree with. Is that he's doing Spiral Cave now, and he's going yeah. to have to walk back up if he wants to check Tower of Hera. Yeah, he'll have to go all the way back up. Uh, it's a bit cleaner to do era first, of course, but uh, it depends because I think it's what a 50 50. Because what if fire is in in this, you know, and then it locks the tower of era? So, since you're looking for fire, I think it's okay to to gamble that I'm gonna go and check every chest possible before I go there. But it looks like it wasn't fire, so now he's gotta go and do that gamble of uh, going in there without fire stores. Huh, that's an interesting little time save for uh, Zayfod. He grabbed the shovel and then save quit to old man, and is now going to go across the bridge. Yep. I think that overall does save a little bit of time. Yes, I think it does. I've seen quite a few of the good runners uh, do this when it's... Well, the very, very good runner will like just go ahead and over the, <laughs> the, 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 the gap, but uh, the, most, the most people will just... Uh, if, you're, if you want to save some time, just go ahead and uh, save and quit there. It is possible to bomb jump it since it's against the wall. You can't get yeah. one extra pixel length, but it's very difficult to pull off. And indeed, Ira is fire locked. Not only that, there wasn't even an item up front. Nope. Denied. So uh, now there's a shovel. Shovel is uh, tempting for our runners. Otherwise, I think it's only Eastern area, right? Or Zora. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. PRD going for that Ive Cave, but unfortunately for him, we know already it's not going to be nothing. And it looks. And Zephod's going to be doing the same uh, DM strat that we saw. We're, we'll see if he goes for Era first, like he just mentioned, or if he'll check uh, Spiral Cave first. Now, there are two items that our runners do not want to see right now. 
Which one are those? The cape and uh Lamp. Lamp, yeah. <laughs> Substitute uh, cape for a sword. I've seen the Moon Pearl on the Pyramid Ledge before, but uh I think like this is very unlikely, but right now everything is possible. And we're gonna see the shovel check here. Fetch quest always good. The fire rod. Well, <laughs> time to go back to Hera. <laughs> That's a weird uh, way to. The game wants you to do this. <laughs> go then, mountain. Get the shovel. Go back, dig, and get fire, and come back all the way up. And you have to do the long, <laughs> the long way <laughs> because you don't have the mirror. <laughs> oh, it's gross. Yep. <laughs> so, so far we've had two fetch quests, one that's a great quality of life this early, and the other one is purely required. Yeah. Quality right. of life until you have... Not until you have the bow, because right now it's just a pile of super godly arrows waiting in your... in your pouch that you cannot throw. <laughs> Yeah, right now it's just a big tease since they both know where that bow is. Yeah. Like, hey guys, I'm a bow and I'm a silver arrows bow that will one shot most of the of the of the of your enemies. But uh, you can't get me. I'm just here. And yeah, Zepha did the same route. Uh, no, Zephod did the route you suggested, and now he's out of here, and I guess he's gonna go check his shovel. The... He's got fake powder! Oh, That could be huge! If it pays. And... I think I've... I saw like uh, I didn't see the race, but I've heard this week there was a, I think it was Andy's race where Powder was on the pedestal and one of the runners did the uh, did the, the fake Powder and got away with murder basically. <laughs> Let's see here. First try. Oh, bombs. Not as exciting, but it was still worth it. Oh, be careful, PRD! Don't die. He's setting up the he's setting up the death warp for sure, but you don't want to die before. Okay. Ended up being pretty clean there. Yep. So Zepha, the uh, gun I need to get is Silver Arrows, weighted up, and he's gonna take the occasion to buy some potions at the same time, so pretty good rotting to do it while you go there anyway. That's gonna put him a little bit short on what he needs for the rest of the game, so he's gonna need to pick up more rupees at some point, but... There's enough big 20s floating around, they'll be good. Oh yeah. I think you just need 80 more bucks for chess game, dig game, and another 50 for chess game, and that's it, right? Sounds about right. So... With the, all the checks they're doing, they're bound to find some, some money here. I wouldn't be uh, too worried about them. Moon Pearl! Vanilla Moon Pearl! Actual vanilla. <laughs> Pretty good. And PRD also gonna be on his way to his first crystal. So... And Zypha is gonna be just right behind here. It's gonna be Ammer for Landmolas here. It's a little bit less safe, but it's faster, for sure. I actually think it's safer, 
because uh, Fighter Sword does the same amount of damage, whether you do a slash or a spin, and after that fifth slash, he will go into a super speed mode. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you just use hammer, you skip the speed mode entirely. Yes, but if you're using hammer, you're prone to uh, some to get bodied on on the side here and get uh, thrown down the floor. Which with the sword you can like cancel the fall with the sp the spin attack. But yeah, I think it's overall it's better to go with the hammer because it's faster and yeah, both are pr pretty much uh, okay to do. And we're gonna see Dark World now. Yeah, with that pearl, it is officially Rip Aga. Well, except if like our runners are feeling it, you know, a little Aga on the side. You never know. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen in a 4 tier match, but it could be cool. If you're super confident, you're gonna win, and you go with a useless Aga just for for a swag. It's pretty good. So, Pod is our other 5-6 crystal, and then Swamp and Thieves are pendants. I believe Thieves was the green pendant. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the tracker to uh, display it, because I... <laughs> I totally... it's too fast for me, man. Lamp! Here is our, our Aga pack here, basically. So if it's if you want a swagger, it's now the time it is to do it. <laughs> and they thought taking a debt, but it's a debt debt warp. And armor, dark world. We're gonna see the pyramid here, probably. Catfish after that, or a pod, we don't know. Time will tell. Zappa took, took a fall here uh, after killing the Beatles. Fortunately, it's like the it's the safest of fall you can get in Tower of Era, basically, because you fall next right to the door. Some others are nasty. Pyramid not having, well, can we call one ruby nothing? It's better than nothing. <laughs> as you said earlier, PRD is, uh, as he has still not every money he needs for the seed, right? So, every penny counts. Yeah, true. And Zephod trying to do the bomb jump to the big chest and falling down two yep. floors. This is one of those t plays that is like super risky because if you get it, you save uh, maybe five seconds. I don't know how much it is, like maybe 10 seconds, but if you lose it, then you lose like 20 seconds. I know myself, I, I do it if I have the bombs, but I don't do it if, I and especially since like he has the hook shot, he could have hook shot, but you go when you're you, you want to win you go for the best strat and sometimes it just doesn't work but it's okay and he's going for it again not being tilted i like the confidence here you gotta go for it and he gets it and he is rewarded by it with a moon pearl So I missed uh, Walla because I was so into the the bomb jump here. Did the uh, catfish has something? Catfish had a grand total of three bombs. Pretty good. <laughs> and there won't even be bo working bombs. Comes like, why would you use a wet bomb? Like, okay, are you supposed to light it? I don't know. We're not gonna see those bombs. Didn't even pick them up. No. Oh well, yeah. I, that's a sensible uh, decision to me. That's two seconds. Like when you're, you're, you're when I started playing, like I picked everything, you know. But the more you think about it, every check, everything that you don't need is two seconds, right? So if you don't, if you like, let go of uh, 
30 items, or okay, maybe more like 15 items, it's still like half a minute there. And in these tournament matches, half a minute sometimes is a race, is the difference between winning and losing. I did win a race earlier in this tournament by 32 seconds, so... Yeah, I won my race today by 40 seconds. So yeah, it's like that's 10 checks that of items basically that makes win or lose, so... And uh, PRD going for the Village of Outcast. Gets more rupees. But right now you don't need rupees because they got a 300 bucks earlier. Yeah, the chess game had 300. And I've heard rumors today for the first time. Well, rumors. It's not rumors, but I, I've heard that... If you go over 1,000 rupees, in it starts to lag the game a little bit. But like, you don't really see it, but it, internally it does. I, but like, I have no confirmation about it, but that's what I heard. So now getting more rupees, it's bad. Apparently. I was not aware of that one. Yeah, I was surprised by it, but it kind of makes sense because it's like, uh, it takes bits to calculate the money. Well, I don't know. I'm not a programmer or anything, so... I might be wrong. We'll never know. Or we'll know one day. And runners are doing a different uh, routing here. Zayfad's going for... Uh, the Stumpy. And probably the chess game after. The digging game? Yeah, I always mix those up, man. It's both our games. But yeah, it's the chess game. Yeah, oh no, I <laughs> said it wrong again. The digging game. <laughs> the digging game, yeah. Yeah, Chloe Power in the chat saying, like, yeah, in the base game, 999 rupees is maximum. And in, in Randomizer, they put it more, you can get more, and maybe that's like makes the game lag a bit because it's not supposed to be, so it's extra programmation. I don't know. Digging game just had 50 rupees for its prize. Um, I don't remember if Purdy Wong has found two items or three in here. I know he found two pieces of heart. Uh, we'll find out before the dungeons ends, that's for sure. I think I saw bombs, so I know about one, but I don't know the other one. Oh. If you saw bombs, then that means it's three items. And this is a pendant. It's a green pendant, though. Green pendant is good. And right now, with the items they have, well, Skullwoods is also available. So maybe Zephyr is gonna be is gonna go there, right? Because it's a pendant. So maybe it's better for him to do it than a, a pendant, but both are good option at this point. And yes, he's going indeed in Skullwoods instead of Teeth Town. Let's see if uh, it's the good decision. Right now, these runners don't have a Crystal Dungeon available to clear. Well, Skullwoods, right? Is it? Skullwoods is a pendant. Oh my god. Okay, well. Then it's, uh, yeah. It's the battle of the pendants. Which pendant will have the progression? Oh! Well, there's our answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Save good. With the jackpot there. Yeah, because, you know, some people might see a mirror here, but I, what I see is Silver Arrow's bow. Unlocked. Yep. And that's gonna be uh, Eastern is clearable right now, but it's also a pendant. But Pod also, and you can do both one of the after. So it's like it's it's like the jackpot right now. And Purdy has to kill Blind to get that fourth item. Well, at this point, you go for it anyway, since you've already 
like gambled and it's not paid and it's the green pendant so you have to go anyway. So it's still logically two more items for the kill. The other funny thing about that mirror is now the pedestal's open. It is open. Okay, I'm thinking about... Because what's the other pendant? Eastern. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! The dream starts. Pretty clean uh, blind fight here. Nice grip to fight for a heart container. What do you think about uh, Zaphod's decision here to uh, clear Skullwoods? Basically, we're looking for a second item. In in the fact in the light that he has progression in form of mirror. He's here, so I can kind of see it. But on the other hand, I, I do like getting like getting that bow and doing pod first. And if pod doesn't pay out, then you go eastern. Yeah. Well, let's see if he's gonna make us make me at least. Uh, uh, say, uh, be, uh, be in the wrong side here. And he's gonna go and kill the Motula for the last item of the Skullwoods dungeon. Pendant. Oh, I like the, the Luigi 8-bit, uh, like Super Bunny, basically. Pretty cool. Bo is on Spectacle Rock, so the mirror basically unlocks it. And PRD not going for the Skullwoods area, and he's going for the Stumpy, and uh, unfortunate decision for him. Oh, we got bee strats. <laughs> the bees are finally coming into light here. I love it. Now, Zephod having a bit of a rough moth fight. He had to use that uh, that blue potion he bought. Well, yeah, it's better than dying. And they have Ocarina, so... Uh, they can get more potion later, and they have a lot of money, too. But dying here, like, with, uh, with this, the Fire Sword, is very hard to do the, the, the Matula fight. And no items, unfortunately. Just 20 bucks. And Sasha, what's Sasha have here? Oh, so Thieves Town is a total, total bust. Except if it's like a pet seed, right? Yeah, and even Sasha Rallo's closet. Nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like drinking a sip of water and I almost like splashed it all over my microphone. <laughs> the bomb. <laughs> uh. Where's Zaf Zafad's gonna go now? Uh, neither runner has checked bumper cave ledge. Nope. And it's time for fake flippers uh, on PRD side. Uh, he's got the moon pearl, so now he can check this, the waterfall. So it's a good idea. Bumper cave is nothing, so the cape is only for spike cave from now on. Looks like he's going to go ahead and check graveyard ledge, though. Good idea. I support. Scary Olives approve of this check. <laughs> what is up with all of these hearts? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, if you s look at the difference between Zephod and PRD on, on the arts, it's like twice as much health. It's Thieves Town. <laughs> and Trello's Closet. The thieves, t the thieves took all the hearts. They are like love thieves. <laughs> Just going on 40 minutes in, and Purdy Wong has 12 hearts. Oh my. Nice find here. And we're... Well, yeah, we're still... 
we're still a medallion and lift up greater wave, but TR is almost uh, full completable. That's always good to find Ice Rod early on, like, because it never really unlocks anything except the fight. So it, it's happened to me a lot that it's like super hard to find for, and it's like meh. We got 20 bucks on Zora's ledge, so we don't need the flippers yet. We still need them. Oh yeah, we'll definitely need the, the flippers for uh, Swamp Palace. But uh, right now, checking all of these things is pretty good because you have to check them anyway when you get the flippers, so... Unfortunately, nothing, nothing. Not even taking the 20 rupees from Zora here. Okay, this is this is good from Zephod that he remembers this. Um, he's got his bow, and now it looks like he's going to go down and take care of Spike Cave. Do you think he'll be able to do it? He doesn't have a lot of hearts, and he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have half magic, and not a potion. I don't. It's gonna be tight. Uh, the hook shot will probably get him just enough. Ooh. It's, it's gonna, gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. Oh, he's got a blue! Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Nice. <laughs> Not so nice. <laughs> well, it's nice that it's out of the way. I mean, with the bottles plus the cape, it was in logic. Yep. And where do you go next? Well, I think it's night time to go into Pod and uh, Eastern, if you're a safe hop. And PRD is going to go... Lo looks like he's on the right way here in Scott Woods. So, other than this Pod area, like Pod Eastern, I'm trying to think of what else they haven't checked yet, because I believe Zaphod did check um, Agena's Cave. Yeah, he did, uh, and he checked. We know that Bumbos is on the desert ledge. And he knows, but I, I don't think that uh, PRD, I don't know which one went. I know, I think it's PRD that went there. But I'm not sure which one went, but some one of them went there. But yeah, I think it's pretty much, now it's... it's uh, from what we know, for both from having seen both of these runners, because we know what Thief Town is, I think the progression is in either in Pod or Eastern for sure. And uh, yeah, PRD found his mirror, and he is uh, un not unlike uh, Zephod. He's gonna go and clear everything else to try to find a second item. Maybe is it, may, I don't know if he's gonna go all the way to Mutt, but uh, he's looking right now for the second item. Oh, I just realized we do have one other dungeon open right now. Uh, which one it is? Is it? Mm. The mirror opens up. Oh wait, we don't have Swamp Pals open. We don't have flippers. What am we I? We don't have flippers. Like, technically, you can... No, you cannot even fake flippers to Ice Rod because you don't have the lift upgrade. So, no, basically, only those two places. Well, you can go in the swamp now and then go right back out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's one chest. Basically, there's... No, you cannot even go in the one chest because you have to, to swim across the... But, yeah, you can go inside. That's true. You just... There's nothing to do there. Just drown in the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it for swag, man. Running Zelda, it's all about swag, I think. And PRD going straight for the bow. Didn't bother killing Machula. So he's gonna take back a little bit of his time that he lost, lost doing Thieves Town. Oh, that, that was, was weird. <laughs> I never saw that before. The bomb went backwards.
And PRD right following the logic here and straight going up to pod and AP. So runners are gonna be uh, pretty much uh, in like one or two minutes difference. And if Zefa uh, gets lost a bit and tries to do Thiefstown later, well, PRD is gonna be in the lead. Yeah, this seem, seems like it's been pretty linear so far. Your only question is, do you do uh, Skull Woods or Thieves first? Yes. Basically, it was a gamble between uh, two pendants. It's the only real choice he had to make so far. And yeah, Zephyr did the right choice, but decided to clear everything in, in it, and that cost him a bit of time. But uh, if it's a pet seed, which is still possible, I think. Uh, well, then maybe it's not that much of a loss of time. We'll yeah, see. we can still see flippers on the pad. That would be interesting. Uh, Zefa taking some money while walking. Doing the diagonal pattern. the flute uh, grabbing potions isn't too much of a hassle. Yep. Yeah, and especially since he used one of these potions on Matula Fight and the other one... The boots! Boots! This is interesting. So that opens up uh, two more locations. Yes! Two, only two more, basically, that's it, right? Yeah, and we know Agi, Aga is nothing, so... But uh, they can still clear Pod because they have uh, they have everything, so... I wonder... Do you go... When you finish, if there's nothing more in Pod, right? Do you go for Eastern? Or you go straight for the Boots? The Boots location? You go Eastern. Three items versus two. Simple mats. I like it. Especially since you're right there. Yeah, you're right there, but also it's not a super big detour to uh, to go back to Eastern uh, with the flute and just going up the, the rock stairs. But... Uh, yeah, I think I would do it this... I would also clear Eastern at this point. If there's nothing else. I wonder what the next progression is gonna be. I think we're... I think we're gonna see Flippers next. We're not even sure Boots is progression right now. Yeah. Well, we don't even know... Because we don't know if... Uh, we've not been in Desert, so we don't know... This desert needs the boots to be cleared. Also, there's always the Ganon's Tower that is now guaranteed to be finishable. Once you get inside it. So I always like to find the boots and it makes the seed faster so everybody's always happy to get boots. Oh... A little bit of uh, trouble with the turtles here. Yeah, the hammer one-shot the turtles, but you kind of... You have to be able to hit them and not keep flipping them back over. Yep. <laughs> the worst is when you have to do it in the dark with only the hammer. And you oh, don't know... <laughs> yeah, you don't know if you're going to die when you just hit randomly. <laughs> So, a nice and probably easy kill here on Elma with the silver arrows now. Yeah, usually if you have tempered sword or gold sword, you don't really bother switching because it's one spin and two slashes with tempered or just two hits with the butter sword. But uh, they're still on fighter sword. Yep. Fire sword. We know where Master Sword is, though, and it's... 
But it's still not accessible. We still need Titan's bits. Yep. And let's see, Zephod's gonna go in Eastern. So he's going for the higher number of, of uh, options. And I wonder, at this point in the game, if you find your three items in the first three chests, do you bother clearing the Armos because you have already done a Pendant? Or you go away? I think... I think if the big chest has your third item, I think you go ahead since you're... Right. I think you do go ahead and kill the Armos. I... Yeah. Because you already uh, like you already gambled uh, a, a pendant kill, and it didn't give you anything. So now, if you maximize your like, because you're 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 already there, and if it's a pet seat, well, you'll be ahead, and you don't have to come back and do all this. But, but I could understand both uh, logics if you decide not to do it or to do it. But I, it looks like right now he got a map here, so maybe there's gonna be an item there anyway. Yep. Because looking at looking for Zephod, if you don't find anything here in Eastern, your next you have either your boots locations, you have Thieves Town. I think he still has Zora. Yes, the Zora location. Yeah, and yeah, I think that's it, right? So there, I think there's gonna be something here, basically. If it's not the boots location, I think if it's not here, it's in the boot location from what we know. So I hope he's gonna do them first for his sake. And Purdy is having some problems with those turtles as well. Yes, turtles. Yeah, you want to have that at least master sword because it's understandable that you do you have to kill them with the mast with the armor. But yeah, they are unpredictable. Oh. Nice usage of the cape, and uh, to avoid killing everybody. Yeah, he um, he took a hit there because the cape delay. Yeah, but with this many arts and on Broomail, you can just like go in and just wait and grab it. But cape makes it use lag less, so it saves times. And let's see if Seifod's gonna go for Eastern as well, or he's just gonna go straight for the boots location, which right now is one in three chances. Two in three chances, in fact. I wouldn't be surprised if he skips Eastern because he skipped them off. Uh, he's going in. Yeah, skipping the mud is only... He already had one item from this dungeon, so... Oh, powder! But... Uh... We know that's useless. Yeah, we know that's useless. And PRD also knows it. Uh, no, I thought it was Zephod that knew it was useless. One of them knows. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know which one it is. Did it, but... I think it was PRD, but we don't... I, I'm gonna fo I'm gonna believe you here. And uh, Zephod's going somewhere. Uh, he hasn't checked Catfish yet. Oh. So he gets to route Catfish and Zora together. Oh yeah, that's pretty efficient. That means he won't be able to check the Waterfall Cave. Not until he finds his flippers. Which, at this point in the game, could be a go mode anyway, at some point. Uh, we still need at least one medallion. Oh, and the gloves. And the gloves, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not, I, I, yeah, I was just saying uh, there's a chance that the, the, the flippers will be Gomod, but there's still a few items that could be it. Depends on the on the order, they will find it. Oh, I think these runners would love for flippers to be go mode. Just uh, go mode swamp palace and go mode ice palace are oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's the best for sure. Uh -huh. So we know catfish is gonna be big twenty, and we know ice, and we know so here. Boat runners not gonna find anything right now in their current quests. It's all about those boots. You gotta follow the boots. That's what it looks like. But uh, on a good note for Zephod, he's able to do catfish with boots, which makes the route there a little bit faster, right? Compared to PRD that had to walk there all the way. And even like for Zora, even though the PRD did the Zora with uh, the, the water walk, I think running is still faster. It's pretty close, but routing in with catfish is guaranteed faster. Yes, yes. And I would bet he will save and quit and go check the boots location. And probably uh, is powder if he hasn't done it. Oh, I think you're right. Zephod is the one that did the uh, fake powder because he bought potion after that. I remember it all now. Now, the reason why I didn't save and quit the Sanctuary is he can't check King's Tomb unless he checks it from Dark World. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Doesn't have the, the lift of grade. Right. And now both are runners with two pendants each, but uh, different pendants. Maybe Zafat Zafat's gonna go for turtle uh, for thieves down here because uh, it's four items. Oh, that is a possibility too. We know it's not gonna pay off for him, but oh, he hasn't done any of the village outcasts. Oh. And Purdy forgot he doesn't have lift upgrade. <laughs> yeah, it happens, but it's it's not a big time loss. And it looks like he's gonna check. Let's see. Let's see. Is it progression? Nope. Just a fatter wallet. Oh, and PRD looks like he hasn't checked Aga at the start of the game, so now he's deciding to go check because he has access to it. The oh no, did I goof? <laughs> yeah, that did happened. I goof. <laughs> that happened to me once where I started doing this strat where you just go and look when you have boots, and it bit me very hard because I there's so many things I would have. Like when once I got access to it, I checked so many things before, and so sometimes it bits you. But I I understand the logic of going there only when you when you can do it. So Zayfod's gonna do uh, Thieves Town a bit faster than safe than PRD had to do it because he has the boots now. So that's that's good for him. And after that, he'll be able to pull the pedestal also. Yeah, there's still a King's Tomb to check over on Purdy's side. But this might be a Ped Seed. Yeah, as far as we know from everything that has been checked, if it's not King's Tomb, it's the pedestal. 
I like I'm pretty sure it's 50-50 King's Tomb or Pedestal right now. I wonder what PRD is gonna check first. I think King's Tomb would be faster for Purdy to check first. Well, for him, it's two items. Basically, he doesn't know that Skullwoods has nothing on the on the on the Muchigula kill, right? That's right. Moth did have something. So yeah, he's gonna go on that. Okay. Yeah, we might have a sink pet check or almost sink pet pedestal pool. If oh, oh. no, he, that's he's teasing us. Yep. <laughs> Well, he'll be if it's not in King's Tomb, he'll be right right back at it. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, PRD doesn't have the ice rod yet, so he'll be getting it at the same time. Yeah, that was from the uh, graveyard ledge. Yep. So uh, it makes more sense, I guess, to make to check those boat items, and he he haven't he hadn't even checked the bumper cave, so that was three checks for him. So it makes more sense to do that than do the Yolo uh, pedestal pool. And we're gonna know, we're gonna know, right now, whether the pedestal dream lives, or the pedestal die, or the pedestal dream dies. I think we're gonna see flippers here. <laughs> it's the lift upgrade! It's progression! And it unlocks a lot of places. Master Sword is now available. Desert is now available. Uh, I think that was Bombos. Yeah, well, that's good because Bombos is on the desert ledge. Look to check the pad. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I don't. At this point, I don't know if you are any going to see it being checked by the book. Because, well, maybe, maybe it will if he's. But I think right now. The gloves are gonna unlock everything, and I think Zaphod is on his way to the pedestal now. Zaphod, going for it. Could be pretty huge if it's some, if it's something there. Desert was boots locked. Okay. Well, boots were huge in this scene, unlocking Titan Smiths and Desert. Get your prayers ready. Here's the pedestal pool. <laughs> What's it gonna be? <laughs> 20 bucks! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's worth it. So much worth it. Uh, that must feel bad, you know? I I've been in that situation uh twice in this tournament. Ah. Uh, now you feel behind. And he is in fact behind because PRD is already a little bit away, but it's not it's not all lost right now. They are not so far away.
You just gotta run and grab those mitts. Yep. You'll be still be back right back on the the logic here. And there's still a lot of decision to be made in the seed, depending on uh, where to go from that. Hey, did either of our runners check uh, that cave south of the grove? K45? I don't think so. No. Well, uh, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah, Mirror was, uh, after that, after they, they ever could. But I don't think we're gonna see it right now, because he's gonna find his Titan Smith. And let's see what play they decide to make. Is he gonna go Meyer, or is he gonna go... Because right now, Turtle Rock, well, it doesn't have a Pendant, I guess, but... Uh, Ice is a possible play, though. Well, they don't have the pen, they have the flippers. And. Fake flipper! <laughs> yeah, I don't think our runners are gonna do that just because if, like, if, like the scenario we said earlier, if it's the go mode flippers, then you can. You, you're, you can go mode uh, ice, and ice is one of those where you save a lot of time go moding. Yeah, and. The only two things they're missing right now is uh, the flippers and whatever medallion is required for Turtle Rock. Yep. So go, yeah. So uh, when you when you are only missing flippers, fake flippering into uh, ice. Well, you could go. You could fake flipper into ice to go moded basically in advance, pre go moded, but. I don't see the point in that so much. You'd rather wait until you find better swords also for the Cold Stair fight. And PRD is gonna go for Meyer. I like this play because Meyer is a, one of the dungeon that, even if you can go mode it, basically most of the time you don't really save any time doing it just because you need to find a big key anyway and it's. Most often in the last checks, <laughs> chest you check. <laughs> I'm always happy when I can go mode it, and I'm like, okay, I can go mode Meyer, yay, and then I check every chest to find the key anyway. Now, there is one play that I would have liked to have seen, and that would be the Turtle Rock play, just because uh, we know where a Master Sword is. Yes. And going there gives you information about because no a runner don't know what is the, the tr so right now if you're a prd right and you find the flippers in here in your first chest and you find a big key in second chest you the, you still have to look for that second item because it could be the medallion you're looking for but if you know what what you need then you know when you're go mode so information is key sometimes plus uh there's still hookshot cave and super bunny cave yes that's already si six more chests to there so but uh, the best case scenario for our runners if, is if they find the medallion for TR before they find the flipper. Because if they find the flippers and they go to TR and it's not openable right now, then it means that they have to look inside uh, ice and they have to look inside swamp, which is going to cost a lot of time. And it's going to be a 50-50 basically. And also, yeah, like the chat men is mentioning, uh, having Master Swords lets you look uh, for the two tablets with the book that you got in uh, just right here. And they're right there for either tablet.
So both, re I don't know if, I think at this point though, Zaphod is, Zaphod is probably gonna go in Mazur Mire after that, but let's see, it's it's not so long to, to go back and come back. Ew, the cutscene chest had an item. No, yeah. Very clean fight with those silver arrows though. One it, it yeah, it looks easy. Uh, when you watch it on stream, if you don't play it, but uh, I feel I think silver arrows are a bit tricky because they are a little, bit, a little bit slower than regular arrows. So when you're most of them shooting normal arrows, it's sometimes it's uh, tricky to just, uh, to get the clean hits with those uh, with those silvers. And uh, I would I most of them rather use the the, the fire rod, even though it's a little bit uh, longer to do, but. Um, Good show of skill here with the silver arrows. And he's going inside the mire. Well, with the fire rod, if... Um, if you land all six shots, you can still zero cycle in pretty much the same amount of time. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's possible to one cycle uh, with fire rod, but... I'd, I'd say go with what you're most comfortable, basically. I say that to runners. And I think we got every item in uh, in here because uh, PRD didn't go for the big chest after getting the key, so I think nothing will be here in terms of progression. It's kind of funny that the big key was next to the big chest. Yeah. That's the worst, like, the, exactly what I was saying, where it's like, the big key was in the last chest you looked at. It's always like that, even even though you can, like, if you could go mode it, it doesn't really matter. Most of the time. Uh, runners not using the, the newly found uh, Meyer super magical skip here. I, I have not really watched like the tutorial on how to do it, but it looks pretty dope. Basically saves like eight seconds. This game is really old and we're still finding ways to play. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I like that they found it because now it seems like it's giving a, 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 a new uh, breath of life to the no major glitch scene where top runners are running a lot of runs right now trying to get a new record with the, the new 8 second save. So it's always fun to find new glitches. Vitreous is uh, pretty easy with silver arrows. Unfortunately, uh, missing the zero cycle fired a couple of arrows off to the right there. Yeah, the wall <laughs> took damage. That's one sturdy wall. Yeah, it took. It the 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 wall has more HP than Vitreous, and Vitreous is a pretty uh, tanky boss. The only boss that takes two fire uh, silver arrows, except Ganon. So, is it time for Death Mountain right now? I think it is. Uh, it might be time for the Super Bomb first. Did we get a boat of our uh, red crystals? Desert and Pod. Oh. Well, it might be a good idea. Oh, it looks like PRD did not check Aginas and he's gonna go and check it right now. To make Just to make sure. Uh... Alright. Seifat's gonna get his big key, yeah. Will he go? 
He's going that mountain. Even if Bombos isn't the medallion for Turbo Rock, as we said, there's still a lot of items up here. Oh yeah, six item plus well seven with the master sword and uh, information also. And the way the Sega has been going, I wouldn't be surprised if the Bombos is the TR medallion. I wouldn't be surprised if the Bombos tablet is actually our progression. Yeah, that would make sense. The one tablet that we can't check yet because we don't have the Master Sword that's up here. <laughs> I'd rather... I think it's gonna be not this one, it's gonna be the... Well, it's gonna be the one in the desert, you know? Is that the one you're talking about? I don't know the names of each tablet. But... Yeah, that's the Bombos. Okay, yeah. <laughs> And vanilla medallion requirement for Turtle Rock today. Quack. It would be like, if it's the case that uh, Quack is on uh, the Bumbo's tablet, that would be like the, a replay of the the Fire Rod Bow, uh, uh, Fire Rod Era thing, you know? Go in that mountain, get something, go away, get something, go back to that mountain. Twice in the same seed. And Zepha making up some time with that vitreous kill. Yeah, pretty clean, pretty clean. What does... Oh, two arts. Wrong medallion. It's not here. Oh, time to get that Master Sword, and... Zepha going to go ahead and get some potions first. Well, if you know you wanna want some, uh... Now is a good time. <laughs> well, he probably knows, he's about to walk into a Fighter Sword Trinex. Oh yeah, if it's... yeah, I guess that's right. And since it doesn't have, I think it's more of the magic problem because if if you're still on Fire Sword, well, he knows probably it's gonna be Master Sword at least. But uh, Master Sword or Armor with only not out of magic is pretty scary because you have to be like pretty efficient on your hits. So I agree of the decision. Or even if it ends up being an Ice Palace. Yeah. Yeah, never good to uh, to get to the. Well, they have bombos for ice. That that's makes it a little bit uh, scary for the for for the magic management here in 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 ice. Well, I was just thinking of. Do you like uh, fighter sword cold stare? I mean, master sword cold stare. Uh, nope. Uh, but master sword is not so bad. Fighter sword is pretty horrible, and armor is the worst because you get it's. But it's doable. But no, nobody likes it. I, I always wait until I have tempered, if I can. PRD didn't, uh, didn't do uh, Spike Cave before, so now is the time for him. And looks like now is time for Fat Fairy. Pyramid Fairy. Or K45. No, this looks like Pyramid Fairy. Yeah. And our runners are not gonna be so far away, uh, I think, with all these checks that some had done before and some had done later, now that they are gonna be like pretty much, uh, I would say, less than a minute away from each other. Oh, this is a Bombos tablet check. Uh, I agree of this. But I don't think they've done Smith Chain yet either. Oh, that's true. And it's nice to route the Smith Chain with uh, the purple chest. The purple chest with the Bombos tablet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you read in my mind because my mouth didn't say the right thing. And tempered is good. It's not progression, but you're not mad to see it. No. And they go, or uh, <laughs> PRD goes instantly, almost like in less than a minute, from Fire Sword to Temper. That must feel good. Now I want some bacon. <laughs> oh, and he's gonna go. I was, I was thinking he was on his way to Cave Forty Five, but uh, it's time for the pyramid. Close enough. I think you. I think you'd want to check K45 before you. Uh, or that Grove Ledge before you uh, do the super bomb. And a little bit of divergence here. Zafod Zafod is going for the Smith Chains route. So uh, maybe he can make up the the time. He's a little bit behind here with the the right choice here. That would be very interesting. If the Smiths have the flippers, though, he is not going to... Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, then again, he might go ahead and do it and hope that he finds Quake and can go mode Swamp and Ice. But here is Quake! And the fourth bottle. Which is not a B. I'm sad now. <laughs> so... Yeah, now... I, it looks like it's time to go Turtle Rock. Not a bad decision by any means. If you include uh, uh, Mimic Cave, that's six items there. It's pretty safe. Yep. And gets dead blocked. <laughs> of course. Uh, everybody wants to always be able to do Turtle Rock as your last dungeon, because then you're just right next to Ganon's Tower. But I approve of this choice right now, because Smith Chains and Purple Chess is uh, like three I, three checks for him. And you have to go, you have to go for, uh, for the Crystal here. But basically now he guarantees himself that he can go mode Ice Palace and Swamp with the, with the order he finds it. And if the flippers are in purple chests, that's gonna be trouble for Zephod. Yeah, it's gonna be a uh, much slower ice and swamp if he goes there before Turtle Rock. But I would think Zephod, after he checks, after he do does this this loop, he's gonna go and get the Pyramid Fairy. I think the rotting, the rotting Zephod is doing is the more efficient to check everything you're missing right now, as for him. Just was a bit unfortunate that so far it doesn't look like it's gonna have worked for him. And Gary's lunchbox, what we got here? Oh! Alf magic is great for uh, Turtle Rock and Ice Rod, and uh, Ice Palace, I mean. But now that they will have both of them, the Tempered Sword, it's not as much as good. But it's a little bit of an advantage, for sure. Yeah, he's getting some good quality of life here, but uh, it's not helping right now. No. Oh, and he's floating away. I'm not sure what if it's faster to... Yeah, maybe it's faster to just float home and use a portal than go on your own portal, but... I think it's pretty... It looks like it's the same, pretty much the same. So, with what we've checked right now, I think PRD is at the right place right now. I think there's nothing much, there's nothing else less to check than TR for the for the flippers. 
Yeah, I think this is it. Uh, yeah, PRD needs to be careful. I don't oh. think he has a fairy. Oh, uh, he just picked one up. Oh, yeah, he has. All right. Oh, yeah, he got it next to, uh, well, paid off. The big fairy gave her, gave, uh, gave Link a little fairy. Yeah, it was not a big, and the fairy paid off. I would think he will be going straight to Turtle Rock now. So if the seed right now looks like it's gonna be pretty much execution from now on because flips are flippers are gonna be in Turtle Rock. So there's no more uh, looking for items and stuff. So it's pretty much now until Ganon's Tower. It's all about who is the best at execution and if PRD can keep the, the the lead he got himself in this first hour and a half here. That looks like to be one hour, one minute and a half lead right now. Yeah, and I still say that this looks like end up being. A pretty linear seed. Yeah, yeah. You needed to uh, follow your your items with some curveball. I think uh, the the ice rod was uh, in a pretty random spot and could have uh, put some headache de depending on the on the routing of the runners, but. And the seed uh, baited the uh, baited the runners into a uh, pedestal for sure. But, oh, uh, yeah. Like the only difference or in in our runners right now is that PRD did not complete uh, much the skullwoods. He did only half of it. So that's the only difference. And Smith Chains, I guess. Yeah, Smith Chains too. Yeah, Zephyr did the Smith Chain. Where are those flippers gonna be? It's like either Laser Bridge or Trinex. Oh. Took a fall. Is he gonna go? Yeah, he's gonna go for the refill of magic because unlike Zephod, he doesn't have Alf. He doesn't have the Alf magic, so. Uh, I don't know if he's uh, comfortable with the laser bridge, or he's gonna have to use his uh, his cape here. I don't oh, think he's he ever comfortable. Got oh, that's that was clean. Yeah. Oh, and that's nice. Swagnet. Ooh. Oh, he got lasered on the way down. He's got a blue though. He's gonna go. I I I approve of this. I guess he did have one. I I must have been mistaken. Here it is. Flippers on the last chest of Laser Bridge. Well, you already have the key. Yep. Now the only thing that could really bite him is if he uh, has a really uh, horrible fight and lose magic. Because he doesn't have his blue potion now. 
Well, there is a full magic refill uh, right before the laser bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not the laser bridge, the boss bridge. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start taking notes on the times for to see like if they make up time or lose time on the boss kills. Clean first uh, cycle here. There it is. We have Crystal at one thirty fifty four for pretty long. Yep. Just as Zephod is entering uh, the Mimic Cave. Now, what order do you do Ice and Swamp? It doesn't really matter. He's gonna go for Potion. I think Zaphod has uh, still has potions. Yeah, he's full of potions. So that's a bit of a time save for him uh, that he doesn't have to go back for it. But now PRD is good to go forever. He's got <laughs> four blue potions. He's uh, he has the the full stack. And going for a swamp first, it seems good choice. I think I think it maybe it's a little bit faster because you can just walk from here to to ice rod. To ice ice cave. Ice palace, I mean. Now I don't think our runners are are gonna be looking for anything else at this point. Like the only thing I can think that you want to like maybe runners would want to see is red mail to make this seed a little bit safer but like if you can get it on the bus kill but i don't think we're going to see chest open openings in turtle rock or uh, anywhere uh, around like in swamp sometime runners will check the, the chest on the way even on go mode for better items one art hey one heart's all you need <laughs> that was close. That would have been a very, very big time loss for him if he had to go back all the way from the big chest. He cannot afford to lose time at this point if he wants to catch up. Both runners are in go mode, but at this point... Considering how much each runner's checked, they're both probably feeling behind. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, both runners did a total bust Teast Town and bust Eastern also, so it's never good when you see it. But I think Zaphod must be feeling very behind just because of the pedestal. I Putting the pedestal and finding nothing is never a good feeling. Now, I think he had a better Trinex there. Yep. 134.16. 134.18 on the crystal pickup. So. Yeah, that's like two minutes uh, and a half, I think, or something. Three and a half. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That's a lot of time to make up. Uh, depending on which way each runner goes in Ganon's tower, though, that's that can be made up. Yeah. But basically, if you're Zaphod right now, and you're feeling behind, 
you gotta go when you were in GT. You gotta go for the right side because it's the one that will save time if it's the right gamble. Or you can even go all in and just go straight for the the fairy, <laughs> the fairy chest. But I don't think we're gonna see that. Well, Zephod is going uh, Ice Palace first. Interesting. Yeah, I... W I don't think it really matters so much. But it's gonna make us... Uh, not able to do a uh, <laughs> comparison of time until they finish the second bus each. Now, Purdy was trying to do a, uh, a neat little trick that only works with the gold sword. And as you hold the sword out and then uh, latch onto the puffballs, and if you have the gold sword, they'll instantly die, and you can just keep hooking and poking them one after another. Yeah. But I didn't know it worked only with the gold sword. I think if you poke dash, it works even with tempered sword, because uh, I've seen uh, Xelna's Xelna do uh, NMG strat uh, like this in his run, but tempered, but... Oh yeah, if you poke dash, you can do it. Advanced tactical here. Advanced tactics. But that is one dungeon down there, and Zephod is... About near the end of ice. Yeah, pretty straightforward dungeon. Both of those, when you can go mode them, you just don't open any chest. You just, you don't need any key. Well, you need one key, but on a in swamp, but it's on the way. Two keys, but are on the way, so... It's all about the bus kills, it's there with you. Like, if you can get a very good... Uh, Cold Star fight, as Zephod is just about to fight, if you can get it in the corner and... and get some... Uh, area of effect damage, it can save a lot of time. So he's getting the fire rod to open it. Gets it in the corner, but uh -oh. we we will see later what happens with this. Not now. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> Time PRD is getting his small key about to head over to the bomb jump over here in ice. Yep. And just like that, like magic, Zephod is out of ice. Looks like he defeated the cold stare. <laughs> oh, it gets the bomb jump but falls. <laughs> uh that's never fun to, to see. Except that I laughed because I found it funny. But it's not fun. When it happens to you, it's not fun. <laughs> nice it here on every penguins. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, take the time I'm going to watch the time on uh, the cold stir kill on pre RD versus the so we'll know if he's who saved time in those two dungeons. All right.
Now, we'll say Cold Stare seems like it's one of those bosses where Butter Sword does make a bit of a difference. Because it's easier yeah. to get the four hits and keep them in the corner than it is mm -hmm. to, uh, what is it, like six, eight? And the little difference is PRD doesn't have half magic, so he cannot go. He has to keep his. Uh, he has to use the, the the bumbles basically to to keep some fire shots. And he gets lost a bit here in the fight. Oh, yeah. Cold stairs on the loose. <laughs> Pretty decent still, but we. Unfortunately, we don't. We didn't get to see the Cold Star fight on Zephod, so we don't know what happened there. But uh, it looks like Zephod was on his way to a little bit faster kill from the point where where it crashed. So that's a little time save here, I think. And now that Purdy has seven crystals, we have a little game we like to play. Oh yeah. The chess game. With where, where is the big key? Put your guesses in the chat. And you, if you are a subscriber of any of the speed gaming channels or have donated at least 250 bits, you, if and your guess is the correct guess, you will be put on our leaderboard. A pretty nice uh, achievement to uh, to be on the leaderboard. I've only guessed correctly uh, once in my life on the speed gaming, so. And I did not win because somebody guessed faster than me. What is your guess? Uh, Dark Shadows? Hmm. 16. 16? Well, you are one away from my guess of 17. And 17 will be the right one. <laughs> well, Zephod just got his, uh, just got his last crystal. 142. 24, I think. I think he made up time. If I compare the two times. Yeah, I think he's only a minute and a half behind now. Yeah, indeed. Whereas he was three minutes, so it's all it's all gonna be in Ganon's tower and Ganon fight. Yeah, PRD definitely has a has a big edge right now, but uh, I wouldn't say this one is in the books right now. Yeah, the gauntlet's going to be a big execution test for both of these runners, especially if they're feeling the pressure. PRD going for the right side. You got two small keys. For Zephod, uh, the easiest time, the, the easiest way to make time would be if he goes for another routing and it pays off. But uh, I think it's right now in the... I don't know if there's a meta, but I think most runners I see go right side always now. Most of them. Uh, it usually depends if you get a key off those two chests. Some people yeah. go right, and if you don't, you just go straight left. So, six chests right now. Still no big key. Oh, and he's going hard. Uh, he's going for the full, uh, full clear of the, uh, of the armos. Oh, I will he have to restart the room here? Because at this point, this bridge is gonna start. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. He's 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 going out. Hopefully that uh, hopefully that extra key doesn't cause a problem. Oh, that's right. He used the key. And it looks like Zephod is going for the same route. Let's see if... If he's gonna continue and... 
go to the Armos. That's uh, a possibility. Uh, now, since Purdy was the first one in, we are counting from uh, his perspective for the big key. Yes. So for Purdy's side, we have... That was number 11. Getting close to 17. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm partial. I want my. I want my 17. Oh, and he's gonna mirror right away. So both runners are gonna do the exact same route here in Turtle Rock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <in a> <laughs> <sour. to> yeah. <laughs> I'm living in the past. <laughs> So if you want to be right with 16, it's got to be in the next room for you. Oh no, yeah. That's for you too. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So we're getting 14, 15, 16, and 17 over in the rando room. You gotta believe. Oh, red mail. Actually, they're on sixteen hearts. I'm not so sure they care about red mail. No, at this point, it really doesn't do a whole difference. And the uh, PRD has like four blue potions. He's like, he's safe. But uh, it makes us, us see a different color pattern for the for the character. So. And now it looks like PRD would have saved a bit of time if he uh, managed to get the, the bridge before it collapsed. And Zephod is really not that far behind. Uh, Purdy lost all of his magic though. Oh. Here comes 19, 20, and 21. 19 it 19. is! Congratulations to the winner. Which we will know when, because uh, we cannot spoil it. Because we are a bit... Uh... Stigma of the Rose. Congratulations on your win here. With the current guess of 19. It also ended up being vanilla. Is it? Oh. It's been such a long time since I've played vanilla, I I don't remember. Well, it makes sense, basically, yeah. So two two vanilla locations in this seed. Oh, be careful here! One heart! Okay. So if they'd actually gone full right side, that would have been better. Yes. But... For the sake of this, uh... Of this race, I'm good with, uh... With both runners doing the same route, so it's purely execution. Because since uh, 20 minutes, well, Zayfad's been slowly, slowly making up time. And uh, it's going to be down uh, to the wire. PRD struggling here in the gauntlet uh, in the previous room here. Yeah, it seems like Zayfad's been running a bit smoother. Which is what he needs to do right now, if he wants to to make up 
for the checks he made more. Uh, uh, wait, that didn't kill? I think he must have, like, yeah, it, the, the, the arrow was stuck on the lane molas, but it that didn't register, I think, because... I think he sli it, flashed him first. Yeah. I, yeah, maybe it, it was inver invincible while he, it got the hit. Oh, so that was uh, Ether on the skeleton room, and... Oh! Yeah, Zephod is cleaning house right now. Yeah. And he's got lucky patterns also, like the... This room here... Sometimes the mimics, they go super far, but now they were on his way to the door, so... I think we're less than a minute difference right now. I believe Purdy is three or four rooms ahead right now. And a clean land molas here. Zephod is closing that gap. Yeah, PRD, you gotta... You gotta kick it. He's on your tail! He's on your tail! <laughs> It would be so fun if, like, because when you're racing, like in bicycle, you have a rear view mirror and you see the people coming back, and it's motivating you. But in in randomizer, it's 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 all you're just all you know is your opponent hasn't finished yet. That's all you know. So yeah, they you have no idea yeah. where the other one is. Right yeah, now. exactly. Purdy about to go into into Moldorm 2. Zaphrod is three rooms behind. Wow. <laughs> Falling here would be a big blunder. Oof. And speed mode on Purdy's side. Yeah, it it took three hits. Normally with if you get two clean spins. And now they are both in the same room at the same time. Purdy is leaving Moldor. Zephod, yeah, Zephod has just killed. Oh. <laughs> With Aga, Aga plus Ganon, I mean. And Zephod steals Moldor's last possessions. Two second loss here. If he, <laughs> oh man. You don't have time. You don't don't open chest right now. <laughs> okay. They are both in the Aga fight. Oh my god. <laughs> and oh, PRD zero on this. Zephod has two hits. Another zero. Double for Zephod. <laughs> Zephod is on four <laughs> hits. Oh my god, he made it! He did it! The madman! They're both down! <laughs> um, at this point, I think it might be worth it to note that if both runners finish within three seconds of each other, the it's race tight. is declared a tie. Oh my god, I'm opening SRTV. <laughs> I want to uh, see the... I I'm waiting until I see finishes. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> and yeah, right now effects. it's... <laughs> oh, okay. Both of these... Both runners needs to get a, f a one cycle on the first... On, on the first phase. Neither one gets a one cycle. Okay, well, it's fair, it's fair. Fire at the same time. Both goes for the... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a mirror! <laughs> Only difference, Zephod has half magic. If... if It might come down to the potion. Because I think PRD is going to have to drink a potion just for magic. Yeah, that's, go that's going to cost time. Wow, man. But Ganon is jumping at the same time. It's perfect sync right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
No way. One hit for Zaphod. Missing the torch glitch, but getting Ganon in a good spot. One, two, Oh my god, triple. it's a triple! <laughs> Zaphod with the triple! And that's gonna be more than three seconds. And so that's gonna be a win here for Zaphod. The comeback of the century. Oh. I'm speechless. <laughs> Zaphod won it on that a much cleaner Agafy and the triple at the end. It, Check the times real quick. It's 11 seconds difference. 9 seconds. Zaphod finishing with a 155.33, Purdy finishing with a 155.42, nine second difference. Oh. Goes to Congratulations, Zaphod, on the win. Uh, I'm. I don't know how I won, especially <laughs> with the mitts being where they were at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And welcome to uh, PRD. Congratulations on the nice race here. Unfortunately, nine seconds short. But what a race, guys. What a race. We calculated PRD was ahead by about three minutes and a half uh, when you both finished Turtle Rock. So, the just... Uh, execution made you come back all the way to 9 seconds win, Zayfad, from Turtle Rock. Well, well, well played, sir. Yeah, uh, Zayfad, you got, you went for the pedestal check, it didn't work out. How did you feel when you got the 20 rupees? Yeah, I was like, um, Oh well, as I, my thing is that well, I was, uh, I was thinking that well, as long as the mitts weren't exactly in King's Tomb, I would be my routing would have been fine. Guess where they happen to be? Yeah, in the King's Tomb. <laughs> but oh, uh, well. yeah, uh, PRD did a, a lot of uh, of of pendant dungeon too, but. Uh, the only difference was he didn't complete uh, Skull Woods. So he never went to check the pedestal. But I guess if there was nothing in King's, King's Tube, he was pro probably going to go and do much like You can tell me if I'm right here. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes! Uh, oh, I, didn't, are... I didn't know yeah. it was going to be that close. <laughs> Man, that was a, a super close race. It was like really exciting at the end there. On the Ganon's fight, most of Ganon's fight, basically, you were in perfect sync. And it came down to the triple arrows uh, of, uh, of Zephod and you missing the Torch Lich uh, pretty much uh, sealed the deal here. Zephod missed the Torch Glitch too. Oh! Yeah, I was. It was. I was all over the place. So there, I didn't know where to look. The, the, it was crazy. <laughs> I could definitely yeah. tell that I was uh, making a lot of execution mistakes at the end. Like I was getting really nervous. And yeah, yeah, you probably uh, would have won the race if you didn't uh, fall two times on the bridge there. Yeah, I. Oh man, well, the past like. Five to ten seats I've had, they've all worked out going right side first. Man, I should have just my guns like I was considering drinking a potion and just continuing on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but a lot of things could have been different. But man, this this uh, this race was like very very interesting and and very entertaining for sure. Uh, how did you guys uh, feel about it? Basically, about the seed. Uh, let us uh, go through what you thought about it. Apart from the King's Two Mitts, things went pretty well, all things considered. Yeah. 
I, we thought it was well, probably next that I was that I kept running into that I I didn't know how Zapog would uh, deal with it. Yeah. Pretty much, uh, I, every item led to something. It was pretty linear in in a way, but uh, there were pretty some trolley things like the the shovel which had fire rod. We, f we thought it was pretty funny. On the on the yeah, and the bees, the bee seed. So. Um, Zephyr, are you? Uh, how do you feel about um, making it to the bracket stage? Uh, I don't really know at the moment. I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> yeah. Have your hands stopped shaking yet? <laughs> <laughs> nope, not not at all. I could definitely say that the better player won. I. I, when coming in, I thought I had maybe like a five to ten percent chance of pulling this off. Well, being nine, well, really good. Yeah, well played, being sir. nine seconds sh short of uh, of a win here, uh, I think uh, it's a pretty uh, admirable feat, and it's a very it was very a very nice show of skill here, uh, making it uh, all this way into tournament, uh, being nine seconds away. From uh, the bracket stage, uh, it's pretty. It's something to be proud of, I think. Be with my performance. I mean, this is my first tournament, and I, I was just shooting for two wins total. Yeah, and I think we uh, we read that you are playing only since three months. Is that right? Yeah, since about January or so. Okay, so. I mean, you are you are somebody that uh, I will look look forward to see in the in in the future uh, because I think uh, if you are already this good and with such a short time of, of uh, being in the community, I think uh, you're you're gonna be uh, a, a, a some some a menace uh, in the future. <laughs> so, uh, any last word, uh, everybody? Uh, good game and uh, good luck in the bracket stage, Zipan. Thank you, sir. This was a great wait, a great race to watch. Th thank you all for putting on a great show. You're welcome. Yeah, and so um, this will be it for the the race tonight. I would like to thank uh, the runners. Please follow our runners here that made uh, this um, amazing race with the result we saw. Uh, PRD Wrong and Zephod Beeblebrox4 uh, on Twitch. You can follow them. Also, thank you to my co host Dark Shadows59. Uh, also, the tracker Magic Jade. She did a great job today. Congrats. Uh, thank you for being here. And, uh, well, uh, the restreamer is uh, Speed Gaming. So uh, please follow every Speed Gaming channel that exists. I think there is one to five. Also, please follow uh, the ALTTPR channels. Uh, there's there's randomizer there every day for uh, the bracket stage that's coming up, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. I don't think there's any race tonight. Tonight, I'm not sure. Uh, actually, in ten minutes, right here, what? we have Trojan Dude <laughs> versus Stinger PA. Another four-two match. When to get into the brackets? I know where I'm going. I'm staying right here. Well, <laughs> I'm staying on the channel. It's gonna be great. So, uh, yeah, please follow everybody here and uh, stay on the channel because the race is coming. So, uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. This has been Dark Shouts 59. Yeah, and Scary Olive. Good night. Good night, and we'll be watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm just staying right here. <laughs>